Good day everyone. Today I will discuss about Kisof gear design. So Kisof is a powerful tool, gear design software for our design engineers involving in gear design. So I will discuss today about the cylindrical gear rough sizing. So this is a tutorial. For the given problem, a cylindrical gear pair is to be designed such that it has a service life of 5,000 hours when transmitting a power of 5 kW at an in input, input speed of 400 RPM with the application factor of 1.25 and the ratio shall be 1.4 so 1 is to 4 reducing speed and the material is 18 chromium in I molybdenum 7 that's 6 so for the boot gears then we have to optimize the gear pair for the best possible noise contact ratio and the strength verification is to be performed by standard of ISO 6336 method B so let's start our software so this is our piece of a module we have different types of module here we can compute single gear uh, cylindrical gear pair and any other type of gears but for this tutorial we will discuss the cylindrical gear pair so by the given uh, let's start with the rating so our rating here is 5000 hours so we will input the 5000 hours in our software so required service life is 5000 hours then for the power transmi transmission is 5 kilowatt so here we can input directly 5 if it's in kilowatt but you can also change the uh, units by right clicking this portion so it could be what's or it could be an english form the next is the speed we have 400 rpm 400 rpm speed so let's say 400 here then for the application factor it is 1.25 so this is the application factor so in machine design we can uh, change that depending on the uh, scenario so this is light shock and uniform load okay then next is we have to compute using ISO 6336 so we can find it here in this part population method you can use static or any other method but for this problem we'll use ISO 6336 2006 method B then we completed here our setup let's proceed now to the basic data so here we need the given material so 18 chromium nickel molybdenum which is the default materials for this software then for the lubrication it's just make and the default the next for the solution now we can click this uh, tab rough sizing or calculation and rough sizing so for the from problem we have here the ratio is 1 is to 4 so we can put here 4 with the division of 5% positive and negative and guys here uh, for example we like this gear to be spark gear so we have to retain this helix angle to zero but for example you know in any other problem if the center distance is given we can also input the center distance but right now so to make it uh, default and for overlap ratio if we change this to uh, we have example a required contact ratio so we can input here but of course the result 
should not be uh, is not the spar gear because mostly it will become a helical gear because of the helix angle here and the other operation okay then this one for the number of teeth we have the minimum is 11 we can increase this to let's say up to 100 so that the case of will select from 11 to 100 number of teeth for the pinion then other data will be default the next calculate so this is now the result so this is very fast okay so we have a lot of numbers but as a designer what are the items that you will going to look here okay number one we have to add here show height columns please make sure that you check this torque max per weight so this is the torque that can be generated per weight of the materials so let's see in the tab Max. So the maximum torque can generated per weight here is 22 Nm per kilogram and the minimum is 14.81. So this is just a rough sizing. For fine sizing in other lecture, we can uh, improve this setup. But for rough sizing, this is already acceptable. So. Then we can check the index. After checking the weight, you can check the module. So from this problem 1.375 solution um, let's say you we don't have a cutter here in your machine shop you can proceed to the most standard here 1.5 so for 1.5 we'll have a weight here of 24.748 okay, then for the maximum weight torque here is 119 and the weight is 4.8 kilogram and it's set okay then close so this is the result we have a factor of safety for road and flank which is the passing 1.3 and 1 .01. then after this result we can now proceed to calculation for the contact analysis so here uh, we can get some uh, data if we generate this part so we just have to click this tab so these are the data that can we generate from the contact analysis this is the graphic contact analysis and meshing so we can check the mesh here so we have the transmission that is positive to basic data and the result okay the basic data we can run so we have here a 1.77 contact ratio then let's go to contact analysis tab so the result here uh, was gone because it's in the basic data form and now let's go back to contact analysis to generate the result again so meaning the contact here is times 1.77 so let's say 1.7 1 and 1.7 here so that's the contact ratio less than two teeth okay that's more than one so you can see this the next is the contact analysis so what we have to check here again is the stress distribution you can check here the stress distribution per gear okay then we can also the, the next is the okay, in graphics this is the vision of the NGRD then again same you can move and this is the result okay, uh, 
our data is the name is okay but we can also improve this in the hand sizing module but right now it is for web sizing then the next is the 3d to geometry graphics and the system so we can here get the model this is now our 3d model an isometric view then we can run this one okay then we can save Put this one into a solid to file or any other software okay let's save step file okay this ends our tutorial thank you